Welcome back to another video where today's video is going to be a little bit different than most of my videos. Because this video is for AP Human Geography, which is one of my classes at my school. And I hope you guys enjoy it. The premise behind this video is um, present, next hundred years, my segment and reset like you know civilization has reset and stuff like that so i hope you guys enjoy it and hopefully see you at the end of the video welcome back to worldwide news where today we are gonna take a look at some old footage found at one of the schools in america from 2018 bwg or before world government we take a look at this what seems to be a project of some sorts to remind yourself of what life was like before WDW, which is about 20 years ago today. After this, we will we'll have a little history segment just to remind ourselves what the biggest war of humankind was like. So, without further ado. What do you think of wine, bandits, gondolas? Well, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Here in Italy is a good place to live in since you're able to live at the fullest since people here are able to live 82 years old. No wonder since Italy has great health care which gives free coverage at the point of giving medical care. Here the cruise birth rate is 7.8 and the cruise death rate is 10.1 both out of 1,000. The natality rate is 7.6 births per 1,000 inhabitants in 2017. This demographic map, the transition model, stage 1, stage 2, stage 3, show how as time passed our medical treatment improved, resulting in fewer deaths and more births with longer lives. The infant mortality rate in 2017 was 3 deaths out of 1,000 live births. The fertility rate in Italy is 1.37 births per woman. The sex ratio is 49 males to 51 females. The pushback to see here is that they have natural accessories get crowded during vacation periods. Forced migration can be also put in this category since they did not have any other option. The pull factor that Italy has great in a great economy has many historical sites and many attractions. Voluntary migration can be used in this category because they wanted to move here. Why not? Here in this wonderful nation you are able to have a voice since they are government as a republic. They have an amazing features and every day passes by as a marvelous day. This population pyramid of Italy, Italy they have a rural land area of 223,000 236 square kilometers. The percent of urban population in Italy, Italy is 69%. In 2017, there were 5,047,028 immigrants living in Italy. Over the last 100 years, we saw a decrease in the crew death rate in Italy, which means more people. Yay. Now, Italy was already pretty urbanized, but as the future took hold, there were more people that were being birthed, which means we needed more housing. So up was the only way to go. Up and up and up and up and up and up. Anyways, Italy had been, well not Italy, about 20 years ago, the WDW, or World Domination War, the war for literal, literal domination of the planet Earth took place. So naturally, it was supported by the two superpowers, America and the UNE, or the Na United Nations of Europe. This is almost the whole entire European com continent united under one flag. Yes. Lucky, lucky enough, we weren't um, dumb enough to bomb ourselves with nukes and destroy the one thing we were actually fighting for to obtain. But anyways, the war ended with one country on top. Italy. The only reason Italy was on top was because Italy had basically absorbed France and Switzerland during the war. Half of Italy since 2018 has been taken by the sea er, the, the land not the people just, just cleaning that up 
But Italy is still as beautiful as ever. Italy's economy is on the rise, just like the ocean, which since 2018 has risen 90 feet. After the war, Italy was made the bank of the world, so they had a lot more money than most of the world. Because, well, we have a lot of the world's money, so yeah. Okay. Our crude birth rate has decreased just a little as well, to about 2.7. Now, this is a good thing, because, as I have said, some parts of Italy are going under. So, the carrying capacity has kind of decreased as well. Our population explo exploded to over 1 billion. Yeah, that's a lot of people. The population increased only because Italy had taken over France and Switzerland. So, we inherited their populace. Now, let's talk stats. Italy's push and pull factors are, in this case, pros and cons. Let's start with some cons. Well, for of all... Most of Italy is underwater, too. Areas in old Italy are pretty cramped. There are three. Not many job opportunities so far, but that's soon to change. Now onto the pros. One, money. We have a lot of it. Almost as much as pre-war America. Two, the healthcare has increased by 750% since 2018. And three, the natural beauty of Italy is as prominent as ever. As far as we can tell, this era won't end for another 2,000 years. This is the best setup we've had ever in the history of humankind. As you can tell, Italy is one of the best places to live right now. So, anyways, see you tomorrow for another edition of WWN. Welcome back to the Worldwide News. What you just saw was from 10 years ago. If you don't know, recently the government has corrupted and it's just crumbling. To be honest, nothing has changed on the choice you should make. Italy is the place where you should be right now because your needs are met there. Some people are going to have to face forced migration, but they need to, but they need to move somewhere where they can live a good life. And others are going to voluntary migrate. Italy will provide will provide the needs after the catastrophic event like resources, health care, and education. Italy is mostly an urban country with a stable economy and it would be a great place for immigrants. Italy is considered the world's bank and at this time it would be the most stable place. It's already on top of Fran France and Switzerland, which is hard to which is a hard place to pass. Education, like always, will still be important in the future. Right now, Italy has great and affordable education and is very successful in that aspect. It is 23rd out of other OECD countries. Education in Italy will be free and very good for all students to have a future. It's also very sustainable, so there's no reason for kids to not have an education. Italy also has many natural resources such as coal, zinc, potash, marble, barite, pumice, asbestos, floor spars, mercury, feldspar, pyrite, natural gas, and crude oil reserves. The Italian government has complete control of its mineral industries. It's also very important to have clean water, and Italy's water is clean and there is very little pollution. There is also very little endangered animals in Italy, and there is a, a diverse amount of plants. Healthcare in Italy is also really good. It's rank, ranked in the top 10 services for quality healthcare. Also, it's free of charge for all Italian citizens and residents. The life expectancy for in Italy is 82.35, which is ranked number 8 in the world. Right now, during the catastrophic event, <clears throat> many are coming here as refugees. Acculturation will not be a problem because the meeting of cultures is normal. There are different opinions on this subject, so believe what you want, but don't cause problems for other people. There's also no, there's no, also no intervening obstacle to stop you from coming to Italy and helping yourself. Italy is in demographic transition model stage 4, 
which means there are low birth rates, low death rates, and a low population growth rate, causing the population to stabilize. There have also been causes of population decline. The causes are low birth rate, and women want and need more help with the kids. Now, although this might sound super bad, it's not. If population is decreasing right now, there are more resources for the people immigrating from their country to come here. That's what will help the population go up and stabilize everything. Now, I know this might take a while to assimilate, but it can work. So don't wait more and come to Italy because it's going to be the perfect Hey, place. I'm Raptor, this is the editor for this video and the script writer for the next 100 years segment. I hope you enjoyed our new reception idea and also if you're a person from YouTube or a classmate or a teacher for that matter, I don't discriminate, please leave a like and if you really liked it, subscribe. The people in this video were corrupt, the scriptwriter for the present segment, and Sphinx, the scriptwriter for the reset segment at the end. Um, now, if you really enjoyed this, go check out my other content. This is not what I usually do on my channel, but I hope you enjoyed it anyways, and yeah. Now obviously what I said earlier is not their actual names, those are nicknames I made for them so that they wouldn't get in trouble with their parents I guess. Um, yeah. I'm so tired I could